Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawen Channel, playing Undertale. Uh, just real quick, I noticed in the last two videos the music was extremely loud, so... Sorry about that, but I just messed with the sound settings and I think I found a good balance, but we'll see after an episode or two. Um, I also figured out my rain situation. If you follow me on Instagram and you go back to uh, like early February, you'll see the comical way in which I did that. Uh, but I think we're all set. So where we last left, left off, Turiel took us here. Go this way. Turiel, uh, we found Turiel's house. She baked a cinnamon butterscotch pie. And I think she's burning it, and she gave us her own room. But before we go in our own room, I like to explore. This is probably her room. What's that a little red circle? Oop. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage, yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> Okay. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. And it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong sea pods. Known more commonly as water sausage. What? There's that one flower up there that's a different color than everything else. You peek inside. Scandalous! Ooh, found the underwear drawers. Oh, sock drawer. Yeah, sock drawer. I also noticed that the keyboard was extremely loud. I did not know this game had controller support, so I'm trying on a controller now to see if there's any much of a difference. Oh, wow! That's cool! The mirror is like actually reflecting me. What's in here? Room under renovations. Okay, never mind. Boop, 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 boop. Before I go in my own room, I'm just gonna explore a little. Oh, uh, something I'm not supposed to be there. Okay, let's go check out our room. I'm worried if I go in the kitchen, I'll trigger the next thing, and I'm also worried about doing the same thing in here. Oh, cool. What's in here? What does it say? Oh, she left me some pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Aw, baked with love, I'm sure. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Aw, she's like super lonely. A box of kids' shoes and despairing of size. She's done this before. Oh. Oh, the music changes with the lights. <laughs> that is cool. That is actually a really cool little detail, I gotta say. Oh man, look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is like a uh, gingerbread house kind of thing where she just lures children to her place and then she eats them. Who knows what's in the pie, right? Oh wait, is there anything in here? No. Oh! It is a water sausage, so that's what it looks like. It looks like one of those, uh, like reeds or something. What's over here? Oh, she's reading by the fire. What's in here? It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> Go over here. Yeah, this is a whole lot better than using the keyboard. I'd highly recommend using controllers. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can't take it. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Hmm. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stone top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Hmm. Okay. Let's get started. Up, up already? What was the voice I used? 
up already, I see. Uh, I don't think I was the one I used. Ah, I lost my groove. Oh, well, I'll just make up a new one. And I really like the voice I use. I just don't remember it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go? Not for nothing. Very nice place, but the distinct lack of kid stuff, or the distinct amount of kid stuff with the lack of kids around has me a bit perturbed. What? This? This is your home now. Um, would, uh, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, how do I get out of here? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, how do I exit the ruins? I have to do something else. Uh, I'll stay here. Oh, she's ch <laughs> Look at her mouth. She's chatting fast. Not for nothing. You're adorable and all, but... I think you need a husband so you can find yourself your own kids, make yourself your own kids, instead of kidnapping me. Can I go in here yet? Room under renovations. Maybe that's something for later. I don't know. What do I have? Oh. Monster candy, spider donut, faded ribbon. What's the faded ribbon do? Hit ribbon, armor. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Oh, how do I equip that? Uh, favorite ribbon? Use. You equip the ribbon! Yeah, no, this is totally like uh, Earthbound, and I, I'm actually freaking loving it. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna equip the knife, because the whole point of this is to be a pacifist, right? Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh, someone's beeping outside. Sorry about that, guys. I was hoping that the curtains would help. Apparently not so much. Hey, Tonya! You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. What? Uh... Can you do that after I leave, maybe? No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh-uh. Yeah, no way. You come here. Come here, you. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. What, being trapped by a goat lady? I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. Oh, she totally empty nester here. They die. Ooh. So you didn't kill them. They just passed through. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. Is it Asgore or Asgore? Asgore sounds fun, but I'm pretty sure it's Asgore. Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Uh, no, no, that's not how this works. Do not try to stop me. Oh, she's getting all sad. This is your final warning. Bring it. I'm gonna kill you with kindness, girl. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. <laughs> there is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, Toriel blocks the way, so... <sighs> Something tells me I need that pie to get through. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Thank goodness this isn't a uh, will fall and survive. 
Toriel knows best for you. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 my God. Toriel takes a deep breath. Oh my gosh. Um, Toriel, talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh my God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Ah! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Toriel, why? You try to think of something again, but... Oh, 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 she is oh, like a fire mage. She's from the Fire Nation. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Ah, uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Prepares a magical attack. This magical attack's gonna knock me on my ass, for sure. Uh, is it trying to force me to fight her? Is that what's going on here? Oh, I didn't read. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, oops. Um. How do I back out? That's how I back out. That's what I wanted to do earlier instead of ate the whole pie. That is right. Go upstairs. No. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Oh. I don't. You ate the monster candy, you received 10 HP. Oh, 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 this is so hard. It looks through me. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's acting aloof, Toriel. Talk. Oh, I have to start all over again with it. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die. Nope. Oh. Veronica, are you talking to some new dude in this situation? Oh, I'm so hurt. She's avoiding me. Oh, wow. Oh, see that? Oh, this is clever. Oh, she's avoiding me now. It's because I'm so hurt, she can't bring herself to kill me. Oh, yeah, no, this is it. This is the way to do it. See, look, it, it, it moves away from me. Oh, I got, I'm on the tutorial. Three ellipses, eh? <laughs> I figured it out! Right before I died. Takes a deep breath. Question mark. Tori prepares a magical attack. What are you doing? She's looking away. She's trying not to look me in the eyes. She's doing all this. Tori looks through you. Attack will run away! Nuh-uh. You my mama goat. You ain't gonna kill your little baby goat. Baby person. Toriel's acting aloof. What are you proving this way? That I'm stronger than you. Toriel's acting aloof. Fight me or leave. No way. I'm gonna wear you down, girl. Toriel's acting aloof. <laughs> I'm so glad to figure this out. I was panicked. Stop looking at me that way. Uh, Toya looks through you. Spare. Go away. How long does this go on for? This is like a boss battle or something. Toya looks through you. Oh, is it just repeating now? I can't tell. There's like no way to tell. Maybe I have to act now? 
I know you want to. Oh, oh, oh! Good thing I stuck with it. I almost went to act. I know you want to go home, but ellipses. Spare you go. But please go upstairs now. Ellipses. I promise I'll take good care of you here. Oh, look at that smile. She's. I wonder if I can still cell phone call her after all this. If I don't kill her, that is. I know we do not have much, but. Ellipses. We can have a good life here. Ellipses. Why are you making this so difficult? She's gone with tears, buddy. At least that's how I'm acting. Ellipses. I'm just like a silent, I am totally a silent protagonist here. Please, go upstairs. Ellipses. Ellipses, ellipses. Ellipses. We're just like not talking. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Ellipses. Ellipses. This is like awkward conversation simulator. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. You're getting it now, you know? If you if you let it go and it loves you, it'll come back. Though I'm trying to find the exit here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. Girl! If you don't destroy the exit, I'll see if I can find a monster boy for you. So you won't be so lonely. Or a pet. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Can I... Can I call you sometime? What's up? I hope you understand. Oh, I see the appeal of this game now. Oh, that was... Oh, man. Mm, right in the feels. Right in the feels. Going on a feels trip. Oh, she stopped and turned around. Only, oh, to give me one last look. Oh! Oh, man. That's heavy. Imagine if I killed her, she'd be like, no, I loved your child. And you'd be like, die, bitch. I'm heartless. Oh, that's a... <gasps> you! I am going to use an item first because my health is crazy. Um, We'll eat the spider donut. Cover 12. So now I'm 14. I, now I'm not in dire straits. Well, what did I do for his voice again? Yeah. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So are you able to play by your own rules? You spared the life of a single person. Hehehehe. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Uh, no, because that was actually pretty touching. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? Which might you? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Oh, you you are the devil. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. No, he's going to be what? Yeah, this is a devil angel type situation. From the looks of it. Ooh. See, that's just creepy. That's just creepy. And there's the exit. On 
Undertale. With a little heart. I just finally got that that's supposed to be a heart. By Toby Fox. Thank you, Toby Fox. So far, this is amazing. Oh, man. Whew. Okay. I got 27 gold, though. Okay, guys. I'm going to call it here for now. That was intense. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Toriel was going to kill me. I don't know why that was a thought that crossed my mind considering how much she loves me. Um, but wow. So, I fall down into Wonderland. I meet a psychopathic flower. Saved by an angelic goat lady. Who has severe mother syndrome. Where she wants to mother everything. Anybody. Um... I meet a bunch of frogs and ghosts and stuff. And then I leave her and say, hey, no, I'm, you know, not for nothing. Thank you for everything. But, uh, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go home. This isn't my home. Thank you kindly for everything. But this isn't my home. And then she starts throwing magic at me, hurting me enough to almost kill me. But just can't, she can't bring herself to do it. And that's like, oh, wow. And, uh. And then she misses me, says, fine, go, you know, it's, it's who you are, I can't stop you, I love you, miss you, blah, 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 blah. Gives me a, a big goat hug, one last look, and then I leave and run in that psychotic flower again, who's like, I'm watching you, because you're interesting. And something tells me he's going to be the final boss or something, and uh, it turns out he's not a flower, he's like something else, maybe he's a tree, I don't know. That's my guess. Again, I haven't gotten that far. Uh, I've watched Dodger play a little bit, but I've never gotten this far, so this ought to be interesting. Okay, well, enough of me rambling. Thanks again for watching Fawen Channel with Fawen Plays Undertale. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos, guys. This was a lot of fun. Take care, and join me next time for even more fun.